Hey guys, just wanted to make a, another quick little video for you guys. I'm going to label this one Best Honey Bee Removal Ever Part 2. And that is because it is the second hive. Um, you remember this first 8 frame medium setup that I got? The guy called me. He saw my ad that I was selling hives and he asked if I would just take it off his hands because he was had too many beehives. You know, he only wanted one. and uh, He gave that whole setup there, the, the tan one, all to me for free. Well, then he calls me back about, uh, I guess it was two weeks ago. He says, Tom, will you take the other one? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, had a couple days I was stalled by the weather, couldn't go get it, it was threatening rain every day, of course, and it never did rain. Um, but anyway, I went and got it. Uh, this hive, it's, it's another one, you know, it's in great shape, it's the same good, strong, hygienic bees. They're big bees, big for honeybee in my opinion, but uh, they've also got just a whole bunch of honey. I think those, almost all four top almost the four top mediums that are all full of honey uh, and I've got my extractor ordered uh, according to the shipping it should be here tomorrow so um, with any luck we'll get to extracting some honey but still not sure what I'm gonna do with these hives um, I think probably I'm gonna you know harvest off the honey and then see about selling the hives or seeing if I can find a, a way to use them somewhere but I'm not sure I gotta I gotta thin down my herd a little bit because I've got you know, these four here, this is in one corner of my yard, and then you know, on the other side of my yard, I've got oh, over there is my four top bar hives and my solar wax melter, which I need to just throw away or something because I wasn't happy with it. I'll just hide it somewhere anyway until I decide to throw it away later. But anyway, uh, the point of this video is just to brag, I guess, about getting that second hive for free and all that honey. I mean, once I get all the honey extracted, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably just feed it back because... I do need it on hand to feed back. You know, I've been doing these uh, swarm removals and whatnot, and you know, some of them don't have a whole lot of honey with them. So, I actually did, uh, you know, the video. I guess I got to publish that one. I did just a couple days ago. Um, cut them out of the roof of that of the people's house out of their soffit, and they wanted to actually keep the bees. So I've got to call them and follow up and see how the bees are doing, make sure they're still there. They haven't called me, so uh, take that as a good sign that the bees didn't leave them. But I'd like to call them and see if they've look back in the box if they've checked them all but there's that little uh, nuke box there and that was from that swarm removal that I did under that deck they had no honey at all when I did the removal so I've been feeding them uh, and then the box on the right there that was from that uh, second story soffit job where the guy had these apples put up for me so I'm still going I still got lots of jobs to do uh, I'm going to look at one today that's in a uh, so I've been told great big pecan tree um, but the lady, it's it's out in the middle of the field, and she said, you know, do whatever you got to do to get the tree down. Uh, obviously, it's hollowed out since the bees moved into it. Um, I think we're going to see. I think she's got a front-end loader tractor, so we'll probably be able to raise me up in that. And, you know, we'll, we'll drop off all the major limbs and get it cut down to where the bees are and then just cut them out. And I think she wants to do something with the trunk, uh, like try to keep it for a, make a planter bed or something out of it because it's a big hollow trunk but we'll see I'll, I'll make a video of that today when we get out there and, and uh, hopefully hopefully I can tackle that one I've got a couple other bee trees to do uh, I had to turn down one bee tree just because the guy was uh, pretty much you know telling me you're straight up he'd be he'd love to kill him because he loves to kill honeybees for some reason uh, and uh, the tree was it, it was it was dangerous it would have been very dangerous for me to take on so I finally just had to throw in the towel I called him I said man just kill them if that'll make your day because I can't do that I, I can't put myself at that risk uh, anyway I've rattled again but just want to show you guys part two I'm super excited um, I've told the guy you know he he just wants to get on honeybees for right now he's got a lot going on in his life he does want to get back into it in a couple years so I told him definitely keep my name keep my number I've got his name kept and uh, I think we'll probably you know, I told him whenever he's ready to get back into it I'll give him a hive back for free it's it's the least I can do you know the guy he's a great guy he means well uh, and I'm really glad that he, you know, took the um, extra step and found a, a responsible beekeeper to take his bees and that he didn't just go out there and kill them and throw everything away, you know. So that that's good. Tell your friends, you know, if you see this video, you know people that want to get into beekeeping or that have honeybees, you know, don't kill them. There's always somebody that wants them, always somebody that can take them. I'm not going to get off on a tangent, but I did see a video uh, a couple days ago about a crew in Dallas that they were convinced that they had a swarm of Africanized honeybees in a tree and so they just went ahead and sprayed them all down with raid and and knocked it out and this you know this made the public news about how they they knew they were Africanized bees and you know that really 
ruffled my feathers because you know there is no way to know they're Africanized bees unless you DNA test them and I know they didn't do that apparently they shook a teddy bear in front of the hive or something and the bees attacked the teddy bear so that meant they were Africanized but if I find that video and find a good link to it I might uh, put it up on my own YouTube video and let you guys know I mean that's just that's bad publicity don't don't follow that. If anybody ever comes at you and says, oh, those are Africanized bees, I can tell by looking at them. That is a load of horse crap, okay? You can't tell by looking. You can't tell by how they sting you. Just because the bees swarm you and sting the crap out of you does not mean they're Africanized bees. I, you know, I do these hive relocations at night. Bees do not like to be messed with at night. I take 20, 30, 40 stings. They're not Africanized bees. They're just agitated and with good reason. So, you know, just keep that in your back pocket. If someone ever tells you, yeah, I saw an Africanized honeybee, you can tell them they're an idiot. Uh, but that's all I got for today. I've, I've said too much and I've rambled too far. But uh, that's all I got. Just wanted to brag about my second free hive. See ya.